602 right now we're in day two of the Titan submersible hearing taking place at the Charleston County Council Chambers. Day one consisted of a second by second breakdown of the Titans journey to see the Titanic wreckage and then witness testimony. News to Sophia Radeball was in the courtroom yesterday and she's covering the hearing again for us this morning. Sophia, what can you tell us about day two? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Riley. Well, I got to sit in the courtroom for about an hour and a half yesterday. Very interesting to hear people who used to be connected to Ocean Gate testify on the stand. Now, uh, the hearing this morning is set to start at 830 and we're expected to hear from more witnesses today. Well, the day yesterday started with a summary about the history of the construction of the Titan submersible and then a minute by minute animation of the Titans trip to the Titanic wreckage, which we knew would end up in an implosion and killing five people. The animation also showed text between the Titans crew and the staff on the support ship called Polar Prince. A chilling detail yesterday that they talked about the crew on the Titan texted the words all good here just minutes before the implosion. Then the first witness was called to the stand, the former director of engineering for Ocean Gate, Tony Neeson. He testified about his involvement with the construction of the Titan as a Coast Guard Board of Investigations asked him specific details about testing of materials and a knowledge of previous failures and partnerships between uh, Ocean Gate and companies like Boeing. Now, here's some of Neeson's testimony yesterday about glass spheres used on their submersibles. Take a look. The issue with glass spheres is they, if they're not oil filled uh, and they fail, uh, it's catastrophic. It's an implosion and it's not like a metal or a metallic implosion. These have very, very high um, strength values, but they're brittle. You know, just like the glass in our in our homes. And we'll be here all morning inside of the courtroom again. Of course, we'll bring you live updates on air and online at countonto.com. For now, live in North Charleston, Sophia Radeball, back to you guys.